My name is Ilya Trevino. I'm Cinderella Bailey. And we're discussing the Everson versus Board of Education case in 1947. So some facts about Everson versus the Board of Education was that a New, Jer New Jersey Board of Education member authorized a reimbursement of money that parents spent on bus tra transportation provided by the public transportation system to find their, to send their children to school. Uh, Lauren, our, some of the money that was used for the transportation cost some of Catholic school children. Um, Everson was a taxpayer who wanted to keep the public board of education from using the public money to reimburse, reimburse parents of um, the students who are attending these Catholic schools. So he filed a lawsuit. Um, in a state court. Um, some of the petitioner arguments, which was Iverson, he was basically saying that, according to the First Amendment, um, or due to the First Amendment, that they can't use the tax money to support these schools <coughs> because it's helping out certain religions and you can't do that. So he emerged, he argued that the statute violated both the state and the federal constitutions. So the respondent argument from the Board of Education said that um, parents pay money to send their children to schools and funds raised by taxation are used to reimburse them. But this not only helps the children to get to school and the parents send them, it aids them in a substantial way to get the very thing which they are sent to the particular school and to care, namely religious training and teaching. Um, the conclusion was that the justices were split over the question on whether the New Jersey policy constituted support of religion, with the majority concluding these reimbursements were separated and so uh, it marked off from the religious functions that they did not violate that constitution. Um, both affirming that the dissenting justices, however, were decisive, that the constitution required a sharp separation between the government and religion, and they strongly, their strongly worded opinions paved that the way to a series of later court decisions that take together brought up about pro profound changes in legislation, public education, other policies involving matters of religion. Both Justice Hugo Black, majority's opinion, and Justice Wiley Rutledge's dissenting opinion define the First Amendment religious clause in terms of a wall of separation between the church and state. The impact was that the case reinforced the percentage of government money financing portions of religion. Sectarian education by having those funds apply to activities other than direct religious education. Similar First Amendment cases have flooded the courts in these decades following Emerson, having invoked Thomas Jefferson's metaphor of the wall of separation in Emerson's decision. The lawmakers and courts have struggled how to balance government's dual duty to satisfy both the non-establishment clause and the free exercise clause contained in the language of the amendment. The majority of dissenting justice, justices in Everson split over the very question. The minority by insisting that the Constitution forbids every form of public aid or support for religion. Um, one time that this case was used to support was the Abington School District versus Shemp in 1963. The school sponsored um, Bible reading before class is unconstitutional. A Pennsylvania law required that each school day opened with a Pledge of Allegiance and a reading from the Bible. The law permitted students to um, absent themselves from this activity if they found it objectable, citing um, in Globe, the court held that the school sponsored Bible reading constituted government endorsement of a particular religion and thus violated the establishment clause of the First Amendment. 
another time it was used was in West Side Community Schools versus mergers. Um, public schools may not permit students religious groups from meeting on school grounds after hours. In the West Side School District, prevented a student religious club from meeting on its property after hours, citing First Amendment concerns. The club argued that the school's actions violated the free exercise rights in the Federal Equal Access Act. The Equal Access Act was passed by Congress to ensure that any school receiving federal funds could not prevent religious and other groups from using school property for hours. The Supreme Court upheld the Equal Access Act against the Establishment Clause challenge saying that neutrality and no hospitality to religion is all that required by the First Amendment. Uh, and another time that this case was referred to is in the Zelma versus Simmons Harris in 2002. Um, certain school vouchers programs were constant, are constitutional. The Ohio Pilot Scholarship Program allowed certain Ohio families to receive tuition aid from the state. This would help um, offset the cost of tuition and private uh, at private, including uh, religious schools. The Supreme Court rejected the First Amendment challenge and to the program and stated that such age does not violate the Establishment Clause. This is a picture of representing the separation between church and state. The 1947 case, Court, Everson versus Boards of Education, for the first time had used only Jefferson's metaphor completely divorced from its context and intent. Um, this is a quote, and then says the establishment of religion calls religious clause of the First Amendment means at least this, neither a state nor a federal government can set up a church, neither can pass laws which aid one religion, aid all religions, or prefer one religion over another. So before ever seen um, the decision to, to the First Amendment were, Congress shall make no laws respecting the establishment of religion Impose limits only the federal government, while many states continue to grant certain religious denominations, legislative or effective privileges. Mm. Before Everson was unclear on how it was unclear on how the United States Bill of Rights were supposed to be interpreted in general. So after Everson. Um, Everson versus Board of Education is a landmark decision of the United States Supreme Court, which applied the Establishment Clause and the Bill of Rights to state law. Um, this case stands for for the proposition that while no law respecting any establishment of religion will stand under the United States Constitution, neutral laws which afford benefits for the children to be upheld. And these are our sources. Thank you.